Hello everybody, Grace Dual Plays, and we're here checking out a new game for the channel called Hammer Helm. That name itself almost sounds like you need to scream it, but I'm going to not blow out everyone's eardrums by doing that. Probably at some point during the gameplay I'll do it. Anyway, Hammer Helm is, this is even before early access I'm playing this. This is an alpha build. The developer was kind enough to allow me to check this out. And supposedly pretty soon, uh, you guys will be able to check it out as well as he heads over to early access and a demo and everything else. I'm going to have links to all this in the description below. If you want to check it out, follow him or support him in any way. This is a really cool game in the vein of a lot of the colony simulators we've been seeing, like No King, No Kingdom, and then Colony Survival. You are a hero, a dwarven hero in this instance, and you have to build up, protect, manage, and everything else your dwarven city here. And it's really cool because all of these buildings, kind of like Forest Village, have interiors and as you do things in the game the buildings and the interiors and stuff get fleshed out like you can make furniture and things like that and there's a lot of stuff that the, that the developer wants to add i'm very very interested to see where this goes a lot of potential in this game let's go ahead and get into it uh, uh we need a name so we'll name ourselves uh i'm gonna go ahead and just kind of call us coitus here there we go not worried about anything else. <laughs> Hopefully there's some young young viewers that are like, that sounds like a fantastic fantasy name. Everyone else knows the sad truth. But so, uh, in the vein of those colony survival style games and colony management games, you get to play your character. So we get to go out and do things. All right, so here we are. Our world has been created. And we appear to be in a nice, oh, there's a, like a little mountainside over there. We got some trees. I like this kind of art style. I mean, I like pixel art style as well, like the voxel art style, but I really like kind of like that lower poly style and this almost like hand drawn style myself. All right, so it says here starting out, press P to open the build menu. It kind of jumps you out into a little tutorial, at least right now it does. Shows you how to build. Press P, uh, select the building to place and click craft. So we're gonna have a bunch of resources and every time we build something, it's gonna cost us resources and then we're gonna have to go back out into the world and grab more resources. So pretty pretty typical there, but there's a little bit extra. There's kind of like quests and exploration. I'll show you guys in a little bit. All right. So the very first thing it wants us to do after it tells us how to build is it's gonna want us to build a storehouse. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, oh, and you can move your buildings around with the C and Z key, so we can kind of get them however we want. This is like that building menu that I was talking about. Man, I kind of want to be next to the water. I really like the water, kind of like that view of the water's edge. Uh, oh, and the little the little gray thing right there, gray, is a road. So if you want to kind of have like little roadways for people to traverse, that's kind of how you would make it. So let's put the storehouse right about there, I would say. That looks good. And now, the other thing that we're going to need, besides a storehouse, actually, you can see it's like partially built right there, is we actually need a place for people to live to build it. So we're going to have to build a house. Each house you, you uh, build gives you two dudes that will uh, assist you in your craftly deeds. Uh, where do I want to put the house at? I'm going to put the house on the other side of the road, I think. We'll put the house... Put the house right here for right now, maybe. Real simplistic. Oh, what will your town be called? Seagullpolis. There you go. There's a horrible name for you. Now let's go ahead and drop down back here. Oh Lord in heaven. Dangerous beginnings. Speak with Pystrom. Oh, what a fantastic name. To ask about the activity outside of town. So there's our little roadway right there. Yes, build yourself a fence. Make it tall and proud. Our men working hard. We got Welther? Yeah, it's like Walther. Only he's been through a little bit more over here. So we can talk with the T key. So let's go ahead and ask, uh, Pi, Pi, Thur Pi, Pi, Pearson? Oh, God. What's going on outside of our town? This is a great start. I'm glad to be here. Well, me too, buddy. Hello, Coitus. This is our perfect spot to build our town, but I saw some goblins to the east. They didn't look friendly. They never are. About. My name is Pearson. I'm a worker. Oh, okay. Good to meet you, Pearson. Excuse me while I go whip that ass. Now, as I understand it, this is this is a game now where you're not just, what I like about it. Oh, by the way, it's really cool that like as they built things, look, they actually hacked down the trees. The guy's got his axe out over there. He's working hard and the tree falls down to the canvas. There's also a day and night cycle. 
which is awesome. Um, so one of the things about this game is you're not just like building to build. Uh, you, there's also like stuff that you do. So that's like these little quests that we're doing right now. And you get the resources, some of them, through these quests, which is pretty freaking sweet. So we've got three monster camps. One of the things that we are going to need to do is equip ourselves with a weapon and shield. So this is where, this is where it kind of goes a little bit more in depth than say, um, No King, No Kingdom. In that you have inventory and you can like move it around and get better stuff and everything teaching you how to fight right here sorry to, <laughs> sorry guys I already did that portion I played a little bit just so that I knew what the hell I was doing so there's a dodge there's a backwards dodge there's a block there's a dash attack and then there's a regular attack and I found there's like a little hidden attack too if you press the middle mouse button your guy does like a freaking uh, super jumpy slam or whatever I'll show you it's one of these Haruken! right there he blasted everyone back, and it's a pretty good ability, too. Look at that. It freaking annihilated that goblin over there. So these goblins have no idea what's coming for them. We're beating the crap out of them. It is, it is like freaking bedlam over here. Uh. And then, oh, my God. <laughs> okay, that was, in fact, the Shuriuken right there, boys. Right there. Now, I wonder, can you chop, like, this wood or anything like that? I know that you can, like, legitimately chop wood. I just didn't know if you could get the logs and stuff. All right. So, we got a couple of other schmucks over here that would try and ruin our dwarven way of life. So, they're going to have to find out that Coitus will have none of their freaking top foolery. And with a swig of my sword, another goblin's floppy body rolls upon the ground in classic ragdoll style. Looks like we have one more area over here. Now, the one thing that I'm curious about is some of these guys have uh, red, if you notice, and some of them have yellow. Is the red guy like the boss goblin? Is he better than the average schmucks? Very curious about that. Oh, I did like a, a spinny twisty thing right there. All right, so we've completed our thing. We got some leather. And now it says here, unwelcome guests. Something has the workers too scared to enter the storehouse. So let's go check out the storehouse. This is one of those things where, like I said, like all the buildings have interiors and things like that. And when I was talking with a developer, he has a lot of really cool ideas. He was saying like um, eventually some of these buildings, like the tavern and stuff like that, he would like that building to have like a um, like almost like a gossip system where you could get where like visitors come in and you can get like additional quests to get resources and stuff like that. I kind of like that. Like I like being able to just oh let's try something real quick. Hold on, I wanted to try this. Like I like being able to just like slap trees to get resources. But if I had the option to like oh hold on, it sounds like we're beating it. Is it gonna work? All right. Oh, cool! Look at this! Yes! Right there, you got some quality wood right there. Okay, cool. So, like, I like the ability to go out there, you know, and, like, grab the resource. But it's kind of cool to have, like, a quest to get the resources as well. So, let's head over here to the storehouse. And, man, the storehouse is looking pretty freaking sweet. That is, uh, that is a beefy storehouse. So, inside... Whoa! Okay. It's not goblins today, boys! It's... Ghosts or banshees or something and they ow. I just got my ass kicked. What is this BS? You know what? How about oh hold on Can I can I do my my super fly Jimmy schnooka move? Does anyone know who that is? All right, apparently not So I guess we're just gonna have to beat they ass the old-fashioned way workers Are you guys really just gonna stand around and watch old coitus get the crap kicked out of them? Man, no no loot or nothing on them. Oh in here by the way you can notice that we've got our uh, delicious, you got your four course meals over here. Your fruits and your vegetables and your pears and your pumpkins and there have you. Everything a growing dwarf needs. Where's the ale though? Is it in these barrels? That's what we really want to know. We've got our, uh, our bread and decanters and everything like that. Alright. So now heavy metal. Press P to open the build menu. And place another house and a metal worker shop. Ooh. Metalworking shop. Now it sounds like we're getting into dwarven, uh, dwarven stuff over here. All right, so into the P area. That sounded weird. We are freaking wrecking this entire forest. I love it. No forest is safe from the dwarves. So let us go ahead. Now, what do we need for this? We need two wooden houses. See, there's prerequisites. So let's go over here and craft one of these. And um, I guess I'll just keep my houses kind of close by right now. So we'll put that right there as it is 
And then a metalworking shop. Allows the production of copper items, basic potions, and tools. Oh, this is the other thing too. Like, there's like all these different items that you can craft once you start getting these buildings. I really like that. That's pretty neat. Um, so let's go ahead and slap this baby down here. We'll put it right next to the storeroom, I guess. Uh, yeah, we'll put it over here for right now. Like I said, it's not supposed to be pretty. It's a freaking dwarven village, man. I don't know how the dwarves like to build things. I'm curious about this. Are they very, very, uh, specific about the way that they build? Or, uh, do they just kind of, like, haphazardly put everything down wherever it may be? Man, they're, they are freaking fantastic at destroying the environment. I'll tell you that. Ooh, right over here. You see how all the pieces are cut? Yes! There we go! Look at this! There's a forge, there's an anvil, we got bars and tongs and stuff over here. Press shift V to open the town menu and assign a metal worker. Okay, so now, so now this feels very, uh, forced village-ish. So now we can go over here, assign a metal worker, 101. And now we have one, our newest metal worker, Welther. Oh, by the way, this is cool too. I think, oh yes. If you want to, you can rename people. All right. There you go, Spoonzilla. It's, it's you're everything I ever wanted in life. Right there. There's our man. Oh, and he looks freaking sweet too. He's got the kick-ass battle axe. Man, I want a kick-ass battle axe. I got this sad sword. I feel like I should have an axe or a hammer or something. Press T. Thanks for getting rid of those ghosts. Yeah, no problem, buddy. Ah, new weapon. This is what I'm talking about. Thanks for building this shop. I can craft a new weapon for you if you find some copper ore. The mine entrance is blocked, but I know where you can find some ore nearby. My name is Spoonzilla. I'm a metal worker. Would you like me to craft something for you? I would! But apparently first I have to beat up some nodes. So let's go freaking do it. Oh, by the by, as you would expect, you can grab items and drag them into your hotbar. Very, uh... I don't know, very traditional. I almost feel... You know what I almost feel? This almost takes me back to the days, man. The days of playing World of Warcraft. Back, uh, 2004, baby. Only difference is, now not only am I beating that ass and getting quests done, but we're gonna be building a sweet town. Look at our town, man! Our town already has the chimneys working and everything. Let's get those nodes. Alright, looks like the nodes are nice and obvious, which is fantastic when you're old gray over here. I love being able to see exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. Bam! Collect the resources. Alright, very good. So we got some, uh, plus 11 copper ore. We got all the copper ore! Is that it? Craft a weapon in the metal worker shop. Alright, I'll see you boys back at town. Alright, man, back at the town. Town is looking freaking sweet. Oh, that reminds me too. Like, remember how I said you can go inside all these houses and stuff like that? So there it is. Like, there's the very beginning to the house. You got like your little hearth and a little mat on the ground in there, have you? But as we do things... Oh, at nighttime comes out, the freaking lanterns come on. Epic. Alright, cool. I like that. Excuse me, Seggy. Or, yeah, whatever. It looks like Seggy, man. Uh, quest turn in if you please. The epic music means we're getting somewhere. You found a lot of copper. This is perfect. Let's craft a weapon. All right, so speak with him and then have him clear the mine entrance. Oh, we got to speak with the worker. I got it. Okay. This guy is wearing a freaking a giant log on his back. Well, all right, man. Good for him. Uh, all right. Well, go ahead and do that thing, man. Go do that thing. Barrel chested dwarves. Like literally, they're not wearing any shirts. They're just very, very barrel chested and looking impressive. So, Seggy's gonna run over there and beat the living crap out of the mine entrance. I could rename him if I wanted to as well. What do you think we should name these people? Leave me a comment in the section below. I'd like to know. I feel like we could come up with some good names here for our poor populace. There we go. So, the mine is clear and it says, Enter and clear the mines near town so you can begin gathering stone. Alright. So now, we have a mine that's open, so we're gonna be able to have a miner, but first, we gotta do our thing, man. We gotta do our, we gotta do our, our championhood proud. We gotta get in here, and if there's something inside, I imagine, we're gonna have to beat the living hell out of it, which is the dwarven way. Onward, enter the mines. Abandoned a long time ago, these mines are now home to many vile creatures. Before your townspeople can begin mining here, you must make it safe. Very well. The crackling of the sconces. Can be heard the glowing uh, veins wow those are some glowing friggin veins right there echoing off the walls the light and now we have friggin tooth oh my it's like ah it's like a uh it's like a koopa but it's on steroids or something man holy crap i got a i got a dipsy do over here it's a diaper dandy in cupcake city 
And that, that's right there, baby. I'm gonna tell you too, I love mushrooms, like eating them. I don't like love them when they're trying to kill me. It looks like we have an ore vein over here. Can I beat this? Oh, I sure can. Yeah. Grab some freaking ore while we're down here. Sweet, 10 copper ore. That's what I'm talking about. Get us some new weapons. I wanna get everyone new weapons. I want to, uh, oh, that'd be cool too. Like, um, if you could upgrade the townsfolk's weapons and stuff like that. I have no idea if that's a thing or not, by the way. Like I said, I've only played this a little bit. But, um, what do you guys think about, like, the, um, how you can kind of, like, how do I say it? Like, there's two parts, you know what I mean? Like, there's the building management part, but then there's also, like, a fighting questing part. That's the part that really, what the, whoa! It freaking exploded all over me! I'm gonna take a freaking healing potion right there. Yeah, freaking choke that stuff back, Coitus. That's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna drink one more. I'm gonna get full up. Oh, I can't take it yet. All right, that's fine. We got more dudes. Yeah, look at them down there. Freaking twinkle toes down there. Kind of lollygagging around. That's just fine. I'm going to get this freaking vein. All right, boys. Oh, Gray is going to get involved in epic combat here. Although now that I know that these freaking people explode. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not dealing with your. Oh, he didn't explode. What the crap, man? Some of them explode. Some don't. Trying to fool me. I see how it is. The old back, the old circle strafe and the back beating is it works fantastically from what I found here. Working real good. Look at this. Look at this. Man, for a dwarf, I am a spry guy. Oh, he's, he's gonna blow up. He's gonna blow up. Ha ha! Not today, buddy. Looks like we got a gold chest over here. Red mushrooms used to brew potions. Yes! Mmm, potions. Now, there's definitely items over here. I can see for sure. So, let's go over here. Yep, there's probably more copper over here. I'm gonna get this and I'll see you guys back at town. Hello, village. It is I, Coitus. Back from the mines, sword and shield in hand. The evil fungus people were no match for my brawny beard and incredibly stout body. Uh, leave the mines and then press shift V, okay, to open the town menu and assign, assign a miner. Look at like, wow, we can have up to four of them? So look, let's see what we have here. We've got armor smiths, yeah. Weapon smiths, brewers, there we go. That's what we want, right there. Tinkerers, alchemists, farmers, healers, carpenters, stonemasons, and mages. Mages! Dwarven mages. I wonder what they do. Let's go ahead and assign a miner right over here. He's going to be doing his thing. I just moved here. I'm happy to be here. Oh, there's like, um, it shows you what they what they like and they don't like. I didn't eat today. Oh, God, we got to change that. Actually, no one's eating today except for, well, I get, whoa. Hi there, new quest. I was going to say. No one's eating right now except for like one dude. Oh, can you craft me something new, by the way? I want something new. There we go. I got the crafting going on now, boys. So what can we make? Oh, there we go. A copper hammer. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, or a copper axe. Can I have either one of those? We got a copper sword. A horned helm. Hell yeah. Shoulder armor. Ooh, you can get armor and all kinds of stuff too. Holy crap. And then a better shield. Ah, potions. Yes. What are these? Look like some sort of claw or something like that. All right, I feel like we should have an axe. Like right over here, a nice copper axe. So it looks like before that, we're gonna have to make some copper ingots. So, oh, well, that's easy. Just gotta click on it. And there you go, copper ingots are freaking made like crazy. Holy crap, 33 copper ingots. We have a whole slew of them, man. Uh, let's go ahead and make ourselves an axe. Yes, 38 damage compared to 25. I like it. Put that right over there. I don't even need this crap anymore. Can I throw this away or can I give it to someone or something? Uh, let's see over here. I feel like we're gonna need a horny helmet. Like, you always need a horny helmet. Isn't that right? Go ahead and get one of those right there. Yes, more hit points. Freaking awesome. And then, what else can we make? I want everything, baby. If I can make it, we're getting it. We got shoulder armor. Ooh. Look at this over here. Belts. Shields. Um, how much more can I get? Let's do the shoulder armor. There we go. And let's do, I want to do almost all this. Or a, is that a fold? I'm sorry. Jeez, not a fell to fold. Uh, and then right, and right pff, in the wrong place. There we go. Now are we looking epic? Oh yeah. Now we're looking pretty dwarf-like. All right, let's go ahead and clear out some of these dungeons and stuff and get more loot so we can build more buildings. We found the land of the Will-O-Wisps, boys. That's actually pretty cool. Look at them. Little, uh, little critters kind of like floating around in there, have you? I'm not really sure 
if they do anything or if they're just looking at me wrong. I think they just kind of look cool. All right, we got the Cave of Evil over here. Let's freaking go in. Oh, the Cave of Nothingness. Looks newly inhabited. The stench of evil permeates every crevice. Be wary. Oh, it's the fungus people again. I remember you bastards. Well, you're not going to have you're not going to have the dwarven village today because Coitus is here to make you all pay. And with my axe in hand and my freaking sweet gear. Actually, you know what? I'm going to quaff down a healing potion over here because we have a whole bunch more hit points now that we have better gear. Got another one of the fungi people. Are they pleasant to be around? They are not. And thus, they must all meet a similar fate, which is death. Anyone who dares oppose the dwarves meets the fate of death. I came, I saw, I beat the crap out of a bunch of monsters. And now, with our newfound coinage. Oh, actually, you know what? I think I might do like one more quest, and then we're gonna see. Oh my god, we are getting quests left and right over here. Noises. Disturbances in the house. Oh, he's having disturbances in his house? Maybe we'll head back to town and take care of that and build some new buildings. Everyone's so sad because there's no farms. Let's, um, let's see over here. Let me think about this for a second. Let's go over here real quick. We could probably get a farm going. We've got that metalworking shop, got the stonework. Let's go ahead and make a farm. This way people have food. Because right now, everyone's just starving to death. I have no idea what they're doing. Ooh, the farm, like, works right over here. Do, I, do we want the farm over here? Or do we want it next to, uh, like, some of the housing and stuff like this? Like, like it's almost like this dude owns this farm. That's kind of cool, actually. Like, we could put the farm behind it, too. Uh, let's see. Or I could put it over here. I'm just going to put it over here for right now, I think. That should be fine. All right. So now, dude should probably go start building a farm. And they are... And then once the farm is done, we'll go ahead and assign someone to become a farmer. And maybe we can start getting some food. Going to here to talk to my buddy, Athen. Some sort of thing's going on here. Something has been making noise in my house. I can't sleep. All right. If it's goblins, I know exactly what to do. You can use the, the uh, tab key to move through all your quests. And then it kind of like marks where they are on the map. So, I'm guessing... Oh, this is your house over here? Or is the other house it? All right, Seagalopolis doing pretty good. I did a couple of quests off camera just to get some money because I wanted to show you guys some stuff. Farm, working fantastically. Food is coming in excellent over here. Spoonzilla hanging out with his white beard looking particularly imposing. Oh, we have matching battle axes. Interior of the shop looking freaking sweet. But now that we have stacks of cash. It's time to do something new and exciting. We're gonna go over here to the build area. And I want, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna get another wooden house. And how do I want this house? Um, I almost feel like I want the house on like the, like they, they get the cul-de-sac, you know what I mean? So they're gonna, <laughs> they're gonna get the end of the road over here. So let's put a house right there and we got a little bit of money left over. I want to make a carpenter shop. Yes. Freaking carpenter shop. I wanted to see what this looks like, especially since you can use it to, like, furnish stuff. So let's get that down as well. Now, that's going to use a bunch of our uh, wood, a bunch of our money, and a bunch of our gold. Remember, all these have interiors over here. So we go inside of, like, our different little houses and stuff like that. There's freaking interiors. I love that. I actually really like the interior of the smithy over here. And this is just the metal shop. This isn't like the weapon smith or the armor smith. I'm kind of curious what those are going to look like. Anyway, got a brand new house over here. You can see our road starting to turn around this way. No big deal. Now, where it... Oh, there it is. Right next to the metal smith. Yes. Build a carpentry shop. Oh, it's two levels high. Wow. It's actually... uh. It's actually fairly impressive. It's like almost as impressive as, as the storehouse over there. Now once Gillip, Gillip? I don't know. Once he gets done over here, I'm going to need to make sure that someone is working hard as a carpenter. Saggy, how you doing over here with all the, the radishes and the tomatoes and all there have you? It's looking good, man. What is this over here? That's your radishes. It's got to be. Dwarves love radishes. I don't know who says that, but I decide right now. All right, so the 
Over here, the carpenter's shop, you got your logs, you got your barrel over there. Oh, what's it look like inside? Oh, I'm very curious. Let's ch let's check this out. Okay. A couple of tables. Axe on the table. A couple planks of wood. A few stools in there, have you? Let's go over to Shift V. And, yep, see, we got a couple of workers here. Let's go grab a carpenter. There we go. Athen is now our carpenter. What's downstairs? Can we go downstairs? Oh, you can. Let's go check this out, man. Let's find out what's downstairs. Oh, hi. All right, you got a large wood-burning stove over here. Very cool. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a, is that like a giant-ass saw or something? I don't know. Someone probably knows what that is. Random uh, chair on a table. I guess he's been maybe working on it or fixing it or something. Oh. I hear someone, uh... I hear someone hammering away pretty close by. Is that you outside there, Athen? It is! Oh, he's a little bit... Oh, whoa, whoa, hey, hi! Alright, he was stuck there in the corner. That Did he just teleport inside the house? Very curious over here. Where did you, where did you go, buddy? There he is! He's around... He's on the side of the house! Oh, there's all kinds of stuff over here, too. Look at him work! Look at him do his friggin' thing! That's awesome! Um... Alright, cool! So, now that we have a carpenter's shop... I wonder, will he start, like, making, uh, furniture for the, uh, for the township and stuff like that? Hold on, can I talk to him? Uh, shop, quest, goodbye... Alright, I was just curious if there was anything I could do with him. I didn't know if I'm allowed to buy stuff from him yet, or maybe we have to get more wood and stuff like that? Yeah, look! He, gra he grabbed a piece of wood, he threw it on his back, He's heading back over here to his shop area. I assume he's gonna go over- Yeah, look! Ah! He's- he's doing something! He's beating the crap out of that piece of wood! I'm gonna tell you what! You see, we have some new quests. Uh, we got that bed rest one. We got a new mine level, so we'd have to clear out another thing in the mine. Um, man, what else would I want to build? There's so many, like, things to- to, like, think about and maybe work toward. Like... Let's see, carpenter shop. Stonemason's shop would be freaking sweet. That allows you to build new structures. And this, like I said, allows you to build uh, furniture and tools. So I'm really, I'm really curious to see how long it takes. Because right now, you can see right now, we don't have like a ton of logs. We only have like two logs in our inventory. And I don't know if like, um, I don't know how long it takes for the different houses to get furnished. I know the developer was saying that like once the- Oh! Oh, crap! Look at that! Gee, to search. You find nothing of interest. You can interact with the different items?! I had no idea! Holy crap! Okay, so, yeah. He runs around, and he furnishes all the houses. And then, from what I understand, if, if the people live in, like, a furnished house, they're much happier. So that's kind of like why you want to start furnishing the houses and stuff like that. Oh, that's freaking so cool. All right, looks like that's the only house that's furnished right now, but that's pretty sweet that it happens. All right, man. But anyway, we got a we got a pretty cool little city going on here, man. We got uh he needs a lot more logs though, I imagine to keep things going. Um but yeah, we got a carpenter. He's working hard trying to get everything all uh all fixed up. We've got a we've got a metal worker over here that can make us new weapons and stuff like that and also potions and things too. Storehouse. Oh, the other thing that I'd like to get done is the tavern. That would be pretty freaking how far down is the tavern? Oh my god, it is way down here. Yeah, you need a brewery first. You need an alchemy shop to get the brewery and you need two farms to get the alchemy shop. So, we would have like a lot of stuff we have to do and like I don't know, man. What do you think? Should we, uh, should we continue to build up our, uh, our Dwarven Hamlet here? What do you guys think of Hammerhelm? Let me know in the comments section below. Hope you boys enjoy it. Until next time, folks, stay foxy and much love. <laughs>